quarter-finalist in Hannah, where he lost to Rafter. And semi-finalist in Zerk Toggenbosch, where he lost to Hewitt. Five. First set, Roger Ferry to serve. The first Fair. meeting between them. Federer to serve. Fifteen love. They look pretty nervous on that one. Get the board, please. Thirteen up. That second serve getting up very high on the Sampras backhand. Fourteen up. Start by Roger Federer, a love service game, and I suppose there are some young men who are born to perform on centre stage, and he, he looks as if he, he's the hardened uh, champion out here. Yes, that was an, a very impressive start. Roger Federer perhaps tipping his hand in that the first Sampras game, sir. Three wide serves to the Sampras forehand. That's quick. 15 love. Very quick indeed. Thirteen love. Seventeen mile an hour second serve from Pete Sampras. Fourteen, fifteen, and another one right up at a hundred and thirty miles an hour. So Sampras uh, coming out and throwing down the gauntlet here. Sampras. <laughs> one game. Peter, I thought the Battle of the Aces was supposed to be going on on court one. Well, of course, that might be a rough match to watch, but these two players, great servers as well. Lot 15. First actual rally of the match. Fifteen on. And this we will see many more times this match, Roger Federer with a very, very powerful forehand. A lot of confidence in that shot. Ah! 30, 15. Oh. 
14-15. Pete Sampras really was the, the guy who popularized that sort of forehand volley, almost flat. Many of the players now hit those forehand volleys, almost flat, even a little tuspin occasionally. Forty thirty. You're going to serve wide to Sampras's forehand. Make sure it's very wide. Game fair today. Fede is two games to one for set. Well, I'm sure many of you are very familiar now with the uh, Sampras connections. He travels with a big entourage, does Pete. There's uh, Stringer, Nick Ferguson, Paul Anaco, coach, looking to his right trainer, Alex Stober. And then we come to the wife, Bridget. All in the uh, front row. And uh, <coughs> there's uh, Bridget, an actress, of course. They got married last year. And if we go back uh, on the, the back row are the uh, Swiss supporters. And just putting his sunglasses on, Peter Lundgren, a Swiss, a Swedish player. And, uh, used to have a number of battles here at Wimbledon with Jeremy Bates and has been coaching World for Federer now for few years and uh, nice to see Monty here Time. in Montgomery with his wife Ema fresh from his victory in the Irish Open yesterday lovely to see him winning again there's no wonder he's smiling raced up the Ryder Cup uh, rankings well we've got to make sure we beat you Americans you know stole the cup from us a couple of years back backhand pass. I don't think Pete was expecting that one. Love 30. Well, 128 mile an hour serve, but it came back with interest. And it's Federer who has the first opening. Love 30. Fifteen forty. Yes, Sampras running through that forehand volley. Always best to take the ball as close to the net as possible. Thirty forty. Well, Federer would have been disappointed. That's what you look for. Second serve when he got break point. Still has one more chance. Deuce. Interesting that Sampras, after facing that barrage of three backhand returns, Went to Federer's forehand on two of the three break points, both on second serves. Pete is not at all afraid to take chances on that second serve of his. Well, that 
back here. Advantage. Sampras. He's sweetly hit. Sampras had to pull that shot out of his bag of tricks. Game. Sampras. Two games over. First step. Sampras serves himself out of trouble. From love 40. And already four aces. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Well, Federer changing things up, coming in behind that second serve. But he didn't look quite so comfortable doing it. Thirty fifteen. Well, he seemed to lose a little bit of control of the racket had there, flicked at it with the wrist. I think he might have lost his footing just a bit in his first move toward that ball. Extremely confident in this forehand, that wrong footing shot, landing within six inches of both lines in the corner. Game Federer. <laughs> Federer leads three games to two, first set. <coughs> Let's see how Pete Sampras set. Got through to this fourth round, round of the last 16. Of course, the epic match against Barry Cowan. I just wonder, I mean, obviously, we Brits, Peter, concentrated on the fact that it was a, such a brave performance by Cowan, so much better than we expected. But have, has the rest of the tennis world read into that? Hey, you know, Sampras really is vulnerable at this year's uh, Wimbledon? I don't think so. I, I really think that there were a few people who thought that Sampras' serve suddenly wasn't penetrating the court in the third and fourth sets. And that, that perhaps that was why Cowan was able to return it so well. But um, Pete's played so many matches here at Wimbledon and has come through uh, playing poorly often that that uh, God, I think you read into think read into it that at your peril, really. He knows how to play. He knows how to win Time. when he's not playing at his best. Let's have a look at Federer's. Route through. Remember, he'd never won a match here at Wimbledon prior to this year. Beat a couple of Belgians, Christoph Rockus and Xavier Melis in his five setter. And then an impressive win, I thought, over Jonas Bjorkman, showing that he really is maturing as a grass court player, because Jonas has been a fine grass court player, good doubles player, of course, the Swede. Fifteen love. Well, Sampras is thundering down the big serves constantly up at the 130 mile an hour mark, but just look how many he's getting in. That's extraordinary. Well, at this point, it's extremely nice. You see how close Sampras is to the net on that first volley. 
think he's done well just to get the return in play, and then when he's putting away volleys like that, that must be a nightmare. Thirteen, fifteen. Let's him down. Yes, Pete will miss this overhead two or three times a year. It's just about his favorite shot. Third, two. And one that he almost never misses. Forty thirty. Game Sampras. Three games all. First set. Lovely setting, isn't it? Three all first set. They've been playing for 16 minutes. Fifteen love. Fifteen on. Thirty, fifteen. Federer is determined not to be outdone in the aces count. He leads five four now. Thirteen. Yes, perhaps if there's one difference between these two players, it's that Federer doesn't quite get into net as quickly, nor possibly quite as comfortable as Sampras at the net. Just a little too much, allowing Sampras to unwind on that topspin backhand pass. Sampras's first break point. Deuce. Advantage, Well, that backhand volley confidently played. Both players serving very well on the big points. Okay, these four games to three. First set. New balls, please. Well, Sampras will be disappointed with that last backhand, but he certainly won't be disappointing, uh, Peter, with the way he's uh, serving at the start of this match. Absolutely. Well, Pete Sampras, of course, with probably the most fluid 
and consistent motion of any player, perhaps in history even. It's a beautiful action. He gets a lot of body torque, lots of knee bend, really jumps into the serve, and of course then lands well inside the court, which gets him into net quicker. Not only can he serve it very quick, but his accuracy is astounding. And, and I suppose really the main feature of Sampras's serve is his tremendous confidence in it. Because there are often players who have great serves, but Pete Sampras is not reluctant to take chances. He'll go for aces on second serves that many other players would not try. And a lot of men in the draw would be delighted with an average first serve speed of 110, and that's the average of Sampras's second serve. And he died. He says, the reason I've won more than seven years in a row, seven years, is that I have the best second serve in the game. He has by quite some margin. Both players will be very pleased with how they've started out this match. Often. The first three or four games can be nerve-wracking affairs, but neither one of them suffering that today. 15. Look how deep this second on. serve is. Deep, perhaps not quite as quick as some of his others. That one coming in at 104 miles an hour. Federer timing it perfectly. Ah. 30, 15. Forty thirty. Well, that wide serve had an immense amount of swing on it. Did it land very close to the line, but it was curving away from Federer. Game Sampras. Four games on, first set. Well, we were promised this was going to be a scorching day, but the cloud cover is really built up. Actually, the players won't mind that because it's pretty humid. There's hardly any breeze, so therefore. Perfect playing conditions, don't have to worry about the sun. In fact, it's very humid out today, probably the most low. humid day we've had in the last two or three weeks. So that might play a factor if this match goes four or five sets. Not quite getting that half volley deep enough, and once again, Sampras showing that he can go down the line with that backhand pass as well as cross. Court. Right. I think uh, Sampras was in between uh, the line judge and the line. So a little bit of luck for the champion. Oh!
30 off. Forty thirty. Oh, talking of second serves, that was a pretty good one. It certainly was a very brave target that Federer chose there. Deuce. So the first error we've seen today from Roger Federer from the back of the court. Advantage Federer. I like the way he's mixing up those second serves. Remember, the last one was out wide to the forehand. That one with a bit of kick got up high to the backhand wing of Sampras. Today is five games to four. First set. Well, Federer so far is playing a, a very astute tactical match. Serving and staying back on some balls, coming in on some second serves. This one, he meant to stay back, but seeing Sampras float the return, sneaks in. And I would bet that Sampras, or Federer rather, was sitting on that Sampras down the line. Perhaps. One of Sampras' favorite shots, down the line running pass. So, still no breaks of serve, and uh, Sampras has not been able to impose himself. He's had just the uh, one break point. So number three for Federer. What do you think? Do you think they'll develop any towels that don't come off on the players' faces? <laughs> Time. Uh, the, the great thing is, actually, I suppose, to wash the towels first before they issue them. Isn't that the secret? You'd have thought that had happened by the second Monday, wouldn't you? But maybe not. I, I sure hope it has. Uh, of course, uh, coming up to the 4th of July, aren't we? Ready for the big day. Fifteen love. Fifteen Yes, that serve not directed close enough to the line. If you're going to challenge Federer's forehand, you have to make it better than that. Thirty-fifteen. Well, certainly a chance there for Federer. His backhand return has been working so well, and for once the uh, second serve of Sampras was a little short. Fifteen. 
40, 15. Game Sampras. <laughs> Five games on for set. Exactly half an hour they've been playing. Fifteen love. That was a very nicely played low forehand volley from Federer. Hit that one hard and deep. Thirty love. Forty fifteen. Federer's first double fault of the match. Federer <laughs> leads six game to five, first set. Peter Lundgren, Roger Federer's coach, looking very happy with his charge at the moment, as well he might, because it's remarkable, really. I mean, we play so little grass court tennis these days. I mean, basically, there's four weeks. I know there's a grass court tournament in Newport, Rhode Island, the week after the ball, but to be honest, the top players don't really play it. But here's a young man, just 19 years of age, brought up in Central Europe, on clay and indoor courts, adapts perfectly to the idea of serving and volume virtually all the time. Yes, well, I think what we'll see more and more in the future is really the talented players, the players like Federer who have the ability to hit a wide array of shots are the ones who are going to adapt best to the grass court game. You find players who are a little bit stiffer, just hard court players, perhaps do not adjust quite as well. I think the, the thing that's really impressive about Roger Federer today, though, is, is uh, we've seen his shots, how he plays the, the ball, but, but really how he's coped with the surroundings uh, has been magnificent and barely a trace, not even a trace of nerves so far in this match. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen all. Well, that serve again, not quite near enough the center line. Federer just guiding it past Sampras. Oh. 
30, 15. That's what Pete Sampras does so well. He changes speeds on his second serve. One time it'll be 104 miles an hour, that one coming in quite a bit harder at 115. And so, therefore, you find yourself unsure of where the ball is going to be exactly. And he also has the very happy knack of finding the corners with the second serve as well. Sampras. Six games over the first set, tie break. Four break points in that opening set, but no breaks. And so we're there to the tie break. Sampras has won 11 of 18 tie breaks this year, Federer, four of seven. One zero, Federer. One up. Seventh ace for Sampras. Let for third. Let for third. In the old days, they used to give a player a barrel of beer if he could get three successive nets. Give him a barrel of beer for just about anything back then, wouldn't they? To one feather. Well, the backhand return of Federer continues to function exceptionally well, and it's the young Swiss who has the first mini break point against the serve. Oh. Three one Federer. Three, two, Federer. And Sampras suddenly finds a backhand return of his own. Yes, interesting that Federer has decided to come into to serve in volley, really, behind every second serve. Three off. Of 
course, Empress. Understandably, with supreme self-belief, always willing to go for the big shots on the big points and in a tie-break. Coach Paul Anacone took over, of course, when Tim Gullickson was suddenly, sadly uh, struck down with a, a brain tumour. Four, three, Sampras. Oh, Sampras, that ball almost handcuffed him at the last minute. Got out of the way and placed the ball perfectly. Just barely. Wide this time. Five, four, Sampras. So the decision to uh, stay back on the second serve perhaps cost him a little. And now Sampras has the mini break. He needs two points. He has two service points to come. Passing shot winner of the match, and it ties the tiebreak up at five all. Who's going to have the first set point? Sampras. 121 and nearly on the same line. Six off. Well, I have to say, from this end where we are, the left's well out. But maybe not. And of course, Cyclops' uh, line monitor machine is there. Sampras hasn't realised it's time to change ends. He's uh, he's fired up today. He certainly is. Well, it's certainly not a ball that the umpire could ever wear. Very, very close. Mohamed Lagyani is our umpire for this match. He's one of the full-time umpires on the men's circuit. Seven six, Federer. Federer's first set point. Oh. 
Seven up. second set point but other than that he played really well absolutely in talking to several coaches and players prior to this match they were all almost unanimous in the, the belief that Sam or rather that Federer had a real good shot in winning this match and uh, as you can see he has a game that that is quite similar to Sampras's and, and it appears a mentality as well. He's willing to take chances on the big points. In that tiebreaker, he only made 50% of his first serves, but on all the big points, he made first serves. And of course, to win a tournament of the magnitude of Wimbledon or the other Grand Slams, you really have to have a frame of mind that's happy in the big situations. So Federer winning that set despite struggling a little bit with the first serve that you can see that he matched uh, Sampras in terms of winning points behind the second serve. Doing pretty well at the net too. A very equal set. And you know, when you get into a tie break everybody knows just the one point here and there and that little brush on the net just gave him that chance. Well I'm very surprised looking at these stats to see both players under 50% uh, at the net. Really, it's uh, you'd expect with with serves uh, of their magnitude that to be well over 50 percent. But I time. suppose really the only time the ball gets in play is on a second serve because both of them are at such a high percentage on their first serves. Federal winning 88 percent of the points played on his first serve. The teenagers in front. How will the champion respond? Sam Press to serve. Love 15. The first game in any set is important. This one perhaps doubly so for Roger Federer if he can get an early break. Fifteen on. Well, this served perhaps not quite the swing that Sam was hoping 13. for. Federer cutting it off, taking a step in diagonally and meeting it perfectly. He's not afraid to go for his shots, this guy, is he?
There it is. Closed in so quickly here, Sampras. See how tight he is to the net when making the volley. Yes, I think Federer mistimed that return. Ball coming a bit slower off of the lines. He was way out in front of that one. Forty thirty. Such a beautiful backhand. Rolls right over that ball, and that was hit a ton. Advantage Sampras. Great low volley from Sampras, taken off his ankles. Again, hit quite flat and hard into the corner. And an easy lame duck smash. Game Sampras. First game, second set. Well, that was a hard opening service game for Sampras in the second set. Federer getting some excellent returns and passing shots going and bringing the very best out of the champion. What a talent this young man is. Moving up the rankings all the time. 29 at the start of the year. 15 now. Lovely hands on that low volley, you sort of caressed underneath it. Yes, he right. low. I think it's safe to say that he's more than just a talent. He is a man with a mind, a competitor, the whole package. 30 low. Love service game then for Roger Federer. With a couple of aces thrown in. You can't imagine him freezing at the prospect of winning this match. Fifteen love. Once again, Sampras taking that low volley. Charging it, hitting it hard and deep to the corner. Thirty love. An ace on the second serve. He's having to uh, come up with more and more good, indeed great second serves because remember his first serve percentage was 79%, dropping away a little bit. Oh. 
科技啦。James Sampras. <laughs> Sampras leads two games to one. Second set for set Federer. New balls, please. So Sampras responds to Federer's love service game with one of his own. And what will be going through Pete's mind at the moment? I mean, clearly he's not going to panic at being one set to love down in, in the best of five set match. But is he saying to himself, how can I disrupt Federer's rhythm? How can I get under him, under his skin, as it were? I'm not sure if that's going through his mind yet at this point in time. I think Pete's been in these sort of situations so many times in the past. Remember last year in the final against Pat Rafter when he was down a set and 4-1 in the tiebreaker in the final against Ivan Isovic several years ago. He was a point away from going two sets to love down. So Pete has a very cool head in this sort of situation. I think he's just saying, keep holding your serve, keep holding your serve. Let's see if if Federer gives me any chances to, uh, to, to line up a few second serves because Federer certainly so far in this match has been extremely confident on his second serve. He's mixed it up nicely. He's stayed Time. back on some balls. He's come in on others. And uh, he's played them so well, in fact, that you might think that, that perhaps he can't continue to play these points as well over an extended period of time. So I think Sampras really has to just be saying, just all, keep it going. Keep it going. Let's, I know I can do this for five sets. Let's see if the other guy can. Balls in play. Aha. Fifteen. That are just forgetting here. Perhaps he needs to go for his second serves. Fifteen all. Well, that first volley very well played. The return was good. It was down low. Federer charged it and got the volley within inches of the baseline. Thirteen, fifteen. So Pete not happy with that racket. For some reason, it didn't look as though he'd broken a string. There's a very thin gut in his uh, racket, very tightly strung, and Nate Ferguson, his stringer, restrings them each and every one every night. Third two. It's a very heavy racket as well. Federer second serve and flexing his left thigh a little bit as well two double faults in a row and it's gifted Sampras a break point <laughs> 
Deus. Advantage, Federer. But he seems totally unfazed, doesn't he? Game, Federer. <laughs> Two games on, second set. And again, you can just see doing a little bit of bending. He's got a little bit of a problem on his left side. Oh! No. Almost cheeky there, but he got away with it. We did, yes. Samper's guessing Love 15. correctly on that first low pass. And Federer just keeping the ball in play, keeping it low, making sure he doesn't give Sampras an opportunity to hit a winning volley. ever. Love 30. Slow motion does not do that one justice. That was a rocket. <laughs> 15, 30. Well, when faced with any sort of trouble, Pete almost invariably gets a big first serve in. Well, the Sampras reaction says it all. He just shakes his head in disbelief. Really? 15, 14? Oh, that's, that's just perfect timing. Thirty, forty. Still break point. Second serve, not quite as quick as some of the other San Francisco hit today, but it jumped up very high. Federer certainly not expecting that one to be up around his eyes. He's had the chances in this match, certainly. Sampras. Oh gosh, this was one of the points of the tournament, really. Both players pulling out two to three great shots. Game Sampras. Sampras leads three games to two. Second set, first set, feather. Sampras is being stretched, but he hasn't been broken. This was the penultimate point, the juice point, and as you said, uh, one of the best points of the championship so far. Yes, Federer just to get that ball in play. Now, that backhand volley was absolutely perfect. 
Federer somehow getting it back. Sampras might have done just slightly better than that drop volley and yet recovered with a great reaction. Particularly because his body weight was going the other way, wasn't it? And he turned and lunged and he made it. Exactly right. Now, I think perhaps one of the things that if uh, Federer is showing us anything that, that perhaps he is gaining the upper hand slightly, it's this statistic. Federer is making so far 48% of his returns in play off the Sampras first serve. And you can see that's quite a bit higher than Sampras's percentage. And, and when you consider that he's having to face such a heavier serve than the one that Sampras is facing, that is why Federer is, is able to make an impression on the Sampras serve. I, I'm not happy, though, the way Federer keeps stretching out there. Obviously, there is something not quite right with his thigh or hip. It's obviously not hindering his movement yet. It's the sort of thing that can really wear on your wear on your mental frame of mind. He's been on the phone to the referee's office, possibly the call for the trainer. Pot. Ooh, an overall from Mampar Liani. Missed one of the match. No complaint from Federer. Left, second serve. Fifteen love. does play that first ball very aggressively. is very important 15 on. for Federer because because Sampras likes to play from the baseline as well and once he gets in a big forehand and takes control of the point you are in big trouble so Federer making sure that doesn't happen Thirty, fifteen. Well, that's as good a return as Ferris come up with a very different one, sliced, blocked, but perfectly angled. Thirty. And this really has one peak several championships that chip return off of a good first serve bails him out a lot of times Fourteen thirty. Federer doesn't serve out wide that often but when he does he invariably hits a good one Second set. Keep waiting for Federer's standard of play to drop, but it isn't. And if you can keep this up, there's a real possibility of an upset.
立即知Sampras. Advantage Sampras. Well, the serve is seep, certainly keeping Sampras in this set. Four games to three. Second set for yes, set Feather. He is still alive. Took 
Chris Breen, the trainer, out there with uh, Roger Federer, and uh, it is the left thigh. Well, it may be bothering Roger Federer, certainly not bothering him enough to affect his performance at all. And he's still playing very, very good tennis. Trainers travel with the tour all year round to get to know the players they pick their finals. Time. Spreen, uh, the trainer, has just been treating Roger Federer. We've noticed he's just struggling a little bit on his left side, left thigh or hip. There's Doug Spreen, he's not struggling. Sprinting off, but uh, Federer, believe it or not, in this set has had six break points and hasn't been able to take any of them. We're on serve, 3-4. Scoring once again, 15 low. Wide slice serve to the Sampras forehand. He's made that serve repeatedly. <laughs> this could be a real danger. 15 low. If Sampras starts to time that chip backhand return, that's the second one he's made now in two games. Fifteen thirty. First set tiebreak was won nine points to seven. Sampras had had a set point. Federer won it on his second. It's long. Third you. Yeah, that was a chance. Not out by much. Nicely played by Federer. You can see Sampras guessing forehand, just laying the wrist back. Okay, Federer. Four games on, second set. You have to be so impressed with the way that Federer has has kept his nerve and kept his concentration. So often it's, it's uh, a real danger when you've had break points and and haven't broken the very next game often uh, you find yourself letting up and losing sir federer has not done that yet he had four break points in the last game love 15. love 40 on the sampras serve sampras uh, saved them with two aces and a wonderful volley right onto the baseline previous sampras service game he came from 15 40 down Fifteen on. Sampras, incidentally, has had just two break points in the match, one in each set. There have been no breaks. Fifteen thirty. And that backhand has been a real feature of this match. Federer hitting winning backhand passes six or seven times, beating Sampras with pace on many of them. Oh. 
Te lo chivo. Forty thirty. Sampras leads five games to four. Second set, first set winner. Well, that was an easy service game for Pete, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, he only had to come from 15.30 down. <laughs> He's really having to fight, but both of them are responding so well on the big points. They really are, and I think that... Uh, I suppose if Federer is to break through in this game, and the reason why he has had so many break points so far is perhaps in that he has been able to return the Sampras first serve quite a bit more often than Pete has been able to return Federer's serve. Federer has such great hands on the return. And here you can see break points. Federer has had nine break points in those three games. He had Love 40, Love 40, and 1540. The bulk of where those break points came. But he has showed us so often an ability to return the Sampras first serve. And because of that, he's gotten in the, the points. And, and in fact, because Time. he's facing such a, a stronger serve, you know, Federer is returning 48% of Sampras's first serves. And we have to say that Sampras's first serve is quite a bit stronger than Federer's. That really is the difference in this match. If there is one, there certainly isn't much of a difference in the score line. Fifteen low. Fifteen on. This was a perfectly played shot from Sampras, one that we've seen so many times over the years from him. Thirty, fifteen. Once again, the return was a tester. Federer answered it nicely. Fourteen, fifteen. Game sold, second set. An hour and a half approaching, and still we await the first break of serve, but it's never been dull this match. There have been so many good returns. Both men have been really tested on the volley. 15 long.
30 love. Federer's ability to keep that pass low, keeping him in that point. I don't think Pete will be especially pleased with that drop volley. Forty thirty. Sampras is six game to five, second set, first set feather. On course at the moment then for a second tie break. And there's Pete Sampras' wife on the right, Bridget Wilson of course. And then uh, chewing the gum, Paul Anico, his coach, chewing a little faster than uh, earlier on. And just coming into shot at the back there is Peter Lundgren, the uh, coach of Roger Federer. He's a Swedish Davis Cup player. And you keep expecting Sampras to sort of break out of the stranglehold that Federer's got on him. But uh, Federer is resisting so well whenever he's threatened. He really is. He's certainly not a player who appears as though he's new to this center court stage. Appears as though he's played here dozens of times already. Instead, it's his very first time on the centre court. Hadn't won a match at Wimbledon in uh, two previous visits, but was the junior champion here in '98 and also the world junior champion. And his has been a steady move from the top of the junior game to the highest echelons of the senior game. Yes, there are very few people Time. who aren't picking this man to win several Grand Slam titles in his career. This game seems to be especially well suited to grass because he has such nice hands, very good feel, and ability to get the return in play. That's something you can't teach. Love 15. The worst possible time, really, to serve a double. The first point puts you under pressure when you're serving to stay in a set. Well, he did this earlier in the set. Two successive doubles and got away with it. Both serves, he sort of kicked his left leg as, as though he's not quite happy with how it's helping his serve. Come on. 
suddenly, out of nowhere, three break points, three set points. Love 40. Out. 15, 40. Well, it's an overrule. It was called good by the baseline judge. From our vantage point, it looks well, just long. Thirty, forty. Use. Sampras. Well, Sampras made him cover a lot of ground in that rally. He's missed it. Second set, Sampras. Seven game to five. One set all. New boards, please. And the reaction on Bridget Sampras's face says it all. He'd been on the receiving end. And suddenly was broken free of the shackles. And for the first time, Federer let himself down in that game. The two double faults really opened the door. And uh, presumably, he's just taking a bathroom break. That's been the trainer not going with him. Yes, well, I think we can see on the face of Pete Sampras a great sigh of relief. Because that last game was the first time that Roger Federer served in this match and played a poor game. He started out the worst possible way, two double faults. Then, for the first time in the match, stayed back on his first serve. I think he's got some work to do to get his mental frame of mind back on track. these days so the players are allowed two bathroom breaks during a five set match comparatively new rule but of course they're told these days to take on so much liquid because they lose so much through the sweat particularly on a muggy afternoon like this one green the trainer are you fine anything else i can do for you Well, I think that break will have given Roger Federer a chance to compose his mind a bit. Time. I'm sure he must be crushed at how he lost that second set. This first game of the third set, crucial for him. Or shall we say the first couple of games in this set, crucial that Federer get back Third set. Maintain level two. So Sampras serving with new balls. Once again, Sampras finding the baseline of 
a very difficult low volley. Fifteen off. Good move, should have worked. 13, 15. The reaction, perhaps not the one that Federer supporters would like to see. First time we've seen him show any sort of frustration. Third you. Second sir. Forty thirty. Was thirty all now, as you say, forty thirty. Okay, Sampras. First game, third set. So Pete Sampras with uh, a little run of three straight games, suddenly in the ascendancy. It's the first time he's been ahead in the match because it was uh, Federer who served first and was always ahead through the first set. And now a very important game for the 19-year-old having just played that poor service game to lose his serve and clearly troubled with a niggling thigh problem. Fifteen love. You have to say, though, there have been no signs that that thigh problem has affected his play at all. Perhaps his frame of mind. <laughs> 30 love. Once again, Federer getting that second serve up high with the Sampras backhand return. Well up over his shoulder. Sampras most comfortable hitting backhands at about waist level, which is why it normally is so good on a grass court. Thirty fifteen. Both of them have been very intelligent in their serving, mixing up the pace, mixing up the angles. Eight 
take eighth stroke of the rally. 40-30. This really one of the few points when both men have been at the baseline that Sampras has won. Okay. Well, Sampras okay. it. Looked as though he thought that was a let, but no call. One wow. game, third set. Always asked for two balls and discards the one that's perhaps the most fluffed up. Wants the one that will travel through the air the quickest. Fifteen long. Sampras reacting well once again to that powerful Federer return. For one thirty fifteen caught way back behind the service line making the first volley. Sampras must Thank you. feel at times, where can I go against this guy? He passes me either way off of both forehand or backhand. Just a little problem with the ball coming back from the crowd. It has now. Awkward delay though between first and second serve. Oh. 30 40. And the double fault gives Federer yet another chance to break. His tenth chance to break in the match. Once again, Sampras comes up with a powerful second serve on break point down. What a knack he has for that. Let the serve. Asking umpire Mohamed Lignani whether he heard it. The answer was in the affirmative. He may have just picked up a little bleep that goes off in the umpire's ear from the device that calls the lets. Second break point after the second ace of the game.
Davis, two games to one. Third set, one set off. Yes, and that man will be very pleased to finally have broken through against the Sampras serves. He's had so many chances so far in this match. And of course, it couldn't have come at a better time because Federer, having played that very dodgy game to lose his serve in the set, at the end of the second set, will certainly be pleased and a bit more comfortable to get back in the driving seat. Sampras, oddly, that was the first game that we've seen him play at less than his, uh, if not full potential. He doesn't often give service games away, does he? Served a couple of double faults that game and really allowed Federer openings that he inevitably capitalized on. Time. He gave uh, Federer too many uh, looks at second serves. And uh, the, you can see that uh, Federer doing better in terms of winning points on both the first and second serve. That's very surprising against the greatest grass court player of all time. 2 1, he leads. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. We haven't seen a lot of winning returns from Pete Sampras, but that one picture perfect. First up. Fifteen, thirty. Yes, Sampras. For one of the first times this match, opening his shoulders on the return. It was open. Thirty. Federer not covering that down the line pass at all. From that 13, position, 14. Sampras can go down the line, cross quarter, top spin lob. And that ball had side spin on it, allowing him to swing it around Federer. Two games over, third set. And I've seldom seen Pete Sampras so animated on a court. Huge yell of come on as he breaks back. Nice to see, really. Fifteen love.
30 long. Forty love. Not often Federer has missed uh, a series of service returns. Just dropped off a little bit here. The disappointment of being broken back after finally breaking. Forty fifteen. Just 14.30. And Sampras won't be pleased at all with that frames volley. Nearly had to lob the ball over Federer for an easy winner. Okay, Sampras. Sam plus least three games to two. Third set, one set all. So normal order restored as we're back holding serve. But the mental resilience of Sampras, he really has been hanging on in this match after losing that first set tie break. All those break points against him in the second set steals it, then goes a breakdown and comes roaring back immediately. Well, yes, I think that Pete is so used to playing a style of game that really is, I'll get one break a set, and all I have to concentrate is holding my serve every game, and, and somehow I'll get one break a set, whether it's, it's whether my, my opponent gives me the game or if I come up with three or four good returns. Right now, you have to think that Pete Sampras likes his chances. Contrasting way in which the two men here are winning their points, both obviously doing very well on the serve, but then Federer relying on the baseline points, Sampras far more on the net points. And that's why it's an attractive match, is that contrast in style. Yeah, very much so. I think that uh, Federer has impressed us all with the way that he can play every shot in the book. He's mixed up his tactics nicely. But you have to think that... that at this moment in time, he's starting to run uphill just a little bit. His body language is not quite as confident as it was in the first and second sets. And he's got some work ahead. Sampras has attempted a deft little chip, falling short. Fifteen on. Mutterings from Federer in this Swiss German.
comes from 30, the 50. city of Basel, which is, of course, right on the border with uh, both Germany and France, fluent in both languages and in English. His mother is South African. 40, 50. As is his doubles partner this week, Wayne Ferreira. Game. Three games off, third set. Just when you think he might be weakening a little, he comes up with a really solid service game. Fifteen low. Yes, that was perfectly placed. Sliding away, the spin carrying it even further away from Federer. No chance. Fifteen all. Turn. 15, 30. And as we reach the two hour mark, Sampras once again having to battle in a service game. 15, 30. Brilliant Third, kill. from Sampras. Not quite a half volley, not a full ground stroke. Those are just about the most difficult shots in the game. One set all, three all, and 30 all. Balls brilliantly held in the covers. Well, that was a near winner return off of a near ace. 30, 40. And that is genius. What hands this man has. You and I had a, a pound or a dollar for that matter for every break point Sampras has saved with a big serve in his career. We could retire immediately. Exactly right. Left for serve. Advantage, Sampras. Funnily enough, it's Sampras's first ace of this set. 
which may account for the fact that he has been struggling to hold serve in it. Broken once. Game Sampras. Sampras leads four games to three, third set, one set. I mean, what is it about the great players? I think also Becker, who would bring out his huge serve as well when he was break point down. I mean, is it simply self belief? Is it bravado? Or, or what? Well, I'm sure it's a combination of both. Certainly, the, the great players have such astounding levels of self belief that, that they really don't feel that they, that they can possibly miss in that sort of situation. Okay, they, they know that. It's possible that they could miss, but but not likely. And so they're willing to take the chance. And, and in a situation where you're playing against a guy like Roger Federer, who who can snap off winner returns, Sampras knows that the odds are better if he goes for a second serve and risks double faulting occasionally. But knowing that when he does get it in, it's going to be a, a very dominant serve. Now Pete Sampras isn't going to suddenly play with three rackets. He's sending two of them off to be restrung. Has his own personal string up. Yes, officer. Could you just arrest those rackets for me? Time. Some more work for Nate Ferguson, who restrings each and every Sampras racket every night. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Well, Federer facing a barrage. Top spin ground strokes. Nearly got that one back. Thirty fifteen. Fifteen. That's the serve that has really troubled Sampras, the one that gets up high to his backhand. He hasn't been able to get over the top of that at all. Game. Fair Four games on, third set. Twelfth ace for Roger Federer as he draws level yet again. Well, Sampras mistiming that halfway ball, not quite a half volley, not a full ground stroke. Fifteen all. Federer was right on that return. Looked almost as though he had too much time.
30, 50. That was cutting things a little fine. Forty fifteen. Thirty. That serve almost wide enough. But almost isn't good enough against a man who returns as well as Federer. Illustration that Federer has all the shots in the book. We've seen him play with great power there, the gentle little dink just making it awkward for Sampras. scenario, isn't it? 13th break point of the match. the fourth third set one set on new balls please well peter just allowing our minds to race Here forward go, but if sampras was to now lose this match that could be the shot that costs him the title well, yes and it's very rare indeed and we'll see pete sampras miss that shot one of his favorite shots a shot that he'll hit just about every match and for the very few times we've seen him miss it, it's certainly at such a big point. If that shot was reminiscent of the shot that Federer lost, missed rather on set point in the second set. And so now, really, we have our, our two very similar sets. The tiebreaker that Federer managed to win nine points to seven. So this match is nicely poised. Oh yes. And what's going through Federer's mind? It's the second time he's been a breakup. Lost it first time around immediately. Now he's coming out to be two sets to one up on the guy who's owned Wimbledon for the whole of the 90s. Time. The Federer is going to be a bit nervous in this match. And this might be a likely time. He doesn't really strike me as a guy who's going to get nervous in the tight situations of the match. Thank you. Oh. But then again, so does that man. I mean, again, Love the every shot in the point, perfect. Good first serve, great return, nice pick up, and then this. Left for serve.
15 all. Thirty fifteen. Because Federer is serving with new balls this game, that body serve is especially effective. Four all forty fifteen. Two set points with two sets to one. Game of third set. Good end. The champions on the ropes. But don't count him out yet. Two sets to one. Six game before. Federer leads two sets to one. So what an effort from Roger Federer. I think uh, when he dropped that second set we all thought the tide had turned and when he failed to capitalize on the early break in that third set but he's showing a strength of mind as well as immense talent Peter in Sampras has won 53 of his last 54 matches at Wimbledon is he going to lose now? Quite possibly. I think when Sampras played Richard Krychek in 1996, it was in the quarterfinals, was it? Or was it a situation very similar to this one? Playing against a dangerous opponent, as this man most certainly is. Most every player in the locker room felt that Federer had. Quite a good chance to win this match. There's a lot of respect amongst his peers. It's interesting. At one point in the third set, it did appear as though Federer was, or his belief rather, was, was shaken just a little bit. And, and it's simple to see why um, you could have thought that. You know, he hasn't played many five-set matches over his career. He's played seven five-set matches. And I suppose he really isn't quite used to, to the ebb and flow of a five-set match, but how well he came back is the end of that third set. Fourth set, Sampras to serve. Very crucial time right now. She was smiling at the end of the second set. Anything but now. Thirty love. Just one ace from Sampras in that third set. Very serious, aren't they? The Sampras bench. Oh. Forty love. Yes, and that serve not far from the center line. You can't do much better than that. 114 miles an hour, Federer. You might be reading Sampras's serve just a little bit. Game okay, Sampras. First game, fourth set. 
So a solid service game from Sampras to start the fourth set. And now it would be a good time to really try and push down on the accelerator because Federer is bound to be saying, bound to be beginning to think of the possibility of winning this match. And if Sampras could break back or break out, I should say, here and get a two-love lead, just take the wind out of the teenager's sails. Had him on the run throughout this point. La Petite. Acrobatic stuff. La Petite. Going cross court, you have to go for a clean winner. And he just overhit it. Too much of a swing. Fifteen thirty. Thirty. Federer seeing this lame duck return of Sampras's in with a full swinging volley. His reaction said it all. A real chance. Federer nicely, conveniently hitting the ball straight back to him. One game on, fourth set. Fifteen love. Thirty love. If you were coming in now at five o'clock and saying, "Well, perhaps Sampras isn't serving well." 68% of first serves in. That's a great percentage, consider especially considering how hard he hits it. Right. 40 low. Fifteen. Well, Federer, even at full stretch, times that one beautifully. Plus least two games to one, fourth set, Federer is two sets to one. Well, it made for a wonderful point, but I would imagine Federer is saying, why didn't I go down the line on that last point? Yes, because Sampras was sitting on the cross court. He had no intention of covering it down the line. 
you can see. Federer, no doubt, thought that, look at where Sampras was standing. Federer, no doubt, thought that Sampras was trying to lure him into hitting it down the line. You can see Pete just had given up the ghost almost. So Sampras holds, but even top players, Peter, will say, oh, well, we, we take it one point at a time and match the time. But, I mean, surely Federer can't do that in this situation. Surely he's got to be thinking, hey, I'm two sets to one up on the seven times champion. Well, if he does have that thought crossing his mind, he's got to banish it instantly because that's the sure way to, to lower your performance. Time. I, I think, really, that the top players do get into that frame of mind one shot at a time, one point at a time, and that's why they are the champions. It's the young players who come up and, and allow those extraneous thoughts to enter their mind that bring them back to earth. Fifteen love. He showed that Sampras was up in the high sixties. Federer is not doing too badly either, is he? Thirty love. And Federer's percentage of 61% first serves in is great when you consider that he's won 83% points on the first serve. So you can be certain that he's hitting the corners with that serve. Sampras thought it was a let. 40 love. That's the little device that uh, picks up the vibrations of a net cord. Oh. Not universally loved, I think it's fair to say. Two games all, fourth set. Love service game for Roger Federer, who's changing rackets, not a change of ends. Sampras not at all happy returning that second serve, Federer. Doesn't like the way it gets up on him. Love 15. So many of the statistics in this match are so even. They've both now served six double faults. Oh, what a brilliant manufacturing shot. He had to put on the brakes. 15 on. Yes, he did, and, and you can see why. Sampras's forehand is held in such high regard, adjusting at the last second, and so precise. Ah. 30, 15. Fourteen, fifteen. Federer thinking that one might have been a little long, but no bleep from the Cyclops, which is a much more accepted piece of machinery. It's the machine that calls the service line.
40-30. Once again, whenever Sampras fails to get an extra amount of swing on that wide serve, Federer is waiting. Game, Sampras. Sampras leads three games to two, fourth set. Federer leads two sets to one. When Pete Sampras lost the first set, Peter, you uh, said, well, he won't panic. He's going to be saying, keep going, and let's see if Federer can play this well for five sets. Is that still the mindset for Sampras? I think that Pete now, while, of course, yes, he's, he's not going to panic, he's going to continue playing his game, I, I think he has to be feeling now Wait a second. I, I need to get a few more returns in play. He uh, he struggled, especially on Federer's second serve. He really has his percentage on second serves of actually getting returns in play has dropped. It's dropped quite a bit. Whereas in the in the second set, it was up at around 70 percent. Sampras now is making only 64 percent of returns on Federer's second serve. And that's just not good enough. Sampras wins because on first serves, he's able to chip the return back low. But on second serves, he he goes for his shots and, and, and makes things happen with his return. And because Federer's been able to, to hit, mix up, first of all, his serve so well, he stayed back on serve, hasn't given Sampras a, a, a steady target, a consistent target. Sampras really hasn't returned well today. Sampras doesn't like the fact that Federer has, has put so many kick serves up high. So I think he's, he's got to try and figure out a way to get a few more returns in play, put more pressure on the Federer serve. Fifteen low. Thirty Yes, Federer going for the body line serve. Not allowing Sampras a full swing on the return. Forty low. Federer has won the last 11 points on his serve. Game, Federer. <laughs> yes, I think there was a time in this match when Federer's concentration wavered. Three games all, fourth set. And those times are over. He is well and truly in this match. And Pete Sampras is going to have to win it. Better is not going to give it away. Fifteen love. Fifteen on. Oh, terrific serve in the corner, but it comes back with interest. Thirty, fifteen. His 
fastest of the match, 133 miles an hour. And he served an awful lot of them over the 130 mile an hour mark. 78 feet is the distance of a tennis court. The length of it, you get less than half a second to react. Fifteen. Funny how Federer seems to be sitting on the, that slice serve up the middle sometimes. Other times not reacting as well. Well, that was a double fault and a half. It was nearer the baseline than the service line. Terrific pace on it, 117 miles an hour. Game okay, Sampras. Sampras leads four games to three, fourth set, Fede leads two sets to one. We talked about what Sampras needs to do to turn things around in terms of getting some more turns in. Peter, what's Federer got to do to, to clinch the match? I, I think really it's just more of the same. I mean, he has played so brilliantly on Sampras's serve, he's just failed to, to capitalize with break points. And I think largely that's been due to the fact that Sampras has come up with big serves one break point down. Um, but all in all, Federer has played very, very well on the Sampras serve. Um, really, what he needs to do on his own serve is just to continue to, again, focus on that cliche, the next ball, the next serve that he's going to put in play and ensure that he doesn't have a lapse in concentration that he's had once or twice in this match and just continues to batter the Sampras return mixing Time. up his serves mixing up the spins mixing up whether he serves in volleys or stays back and and staying in control mentally making sure that, that Federer is the one making the decisions on how the point will be played on his serve Right on the tee. Oh, just for a moment, Sanchez thought it was being pulled good. Fifteen on. It might have been good. Both the return and this beautiful team from Sampras conjuring brilliance from that one. The first, first break point of the fourth set. Advantage, 
Sam Pras. That ball coming off the frame. The first badly missed time shot we've seen Federer hit today. Views. Sampras seeing a mirror image of himself. Two break points saved with two terrific first serves. Advantage Federer. seven games and thereafter after every nine but the serenity of Federer out here today you remember he, he's still only 19 and yet he played those two break points against him so coolly so calmly it's as if his whole career has been waiting for this moment the first time on the center court One thirty-four, fifteen 15 love it's the quickest serve Sampras has fired today. Thirty love. Forty love. Forty fifteen. It's really tough to go on making half volley after half volley. Did a sublime one on the first point of this game, Sampras. Game, Sampras. Sampras leads five games to four, fourth set. Federer leads two sets to one. So many of the statistics of this match are very even, but one I find most surprising really, is that both men are really struggling at the net, and yet we've seen how well they're serving. Is that simply a testimony to the quality of, of the returning? I suppose it, it is a shocking statistic, really, when you think about it. Pete Sampras has come to the net, what, 76 times and lost 43 of them. And, and the only thing I can figure out is that generally when they get a first serve in, the ball doesn't come back. And so therefore, they're playing most of their volleys on second serves, which allow their opponent to attack them. And uh, it probably is a testament, yes, to how well the players return serve. And, and the fact that, that Federer can return so well off the Sampras second serve. Time is the reason why he's winning the match at this point in time.
Love 15. Is Federer opting to go behind Sampras? Pete reacted perfectly. Fifteen thirty. Wow. Thirty. A little sag of the shoulders that time from Sampras, and now he knows how it feels. Two aces from Love Thirty. Forty thirty. Game. Five games on fourth set. Not thirty down. Two points away from being taken to a fifth set. No problem for Federer. Four fabulous first serves. What a talent. What a man as well. And you need both. Fifteen love. Close that gap in the ace department. Oh. Dangerous job being a center service judge. Fifteen on. Thirty, fifteen. Really took his time over that serve. Uh, Sampras thought long and hard where to go. The title is hanging by a thread at the moment. Sampras closing well on that first volley. Moving through it, imparted side spin, made Federer's attempted top spin lob so difficult. Game Sampras. Sampras leads six game to five, fourth set. Fede leads two sets to one. Well, the crowd came here to roar on Tim Henman against Todd Martin. But what a match they've seen as the appetizer. My word. And big Swiss flag there. And 
to Roger Federer. A serve to try and take this fourth set into a tiebreak, and, and nothing seems to phase the teenager today. No, sir. He has shown everything today in terms of mental stability, and his ability just to to keep his mind on the job. Perhaps a slight little wobble, but really we'd be nitpicking there. Uh, at the end of the second set and early on in the third. But he recovered so well to break serve and win the third set. And speaking of Tim Henman and the crowd, if Tim were to go on to win his match today and Federer were somehow to beat Sampras, I wonder what sort of odds Bookies would make time. Tim Hinman. Not that Roger Federer would be any easy match by any stretch of the imagination. No top mark for that matter. Yes, the winner of this match will play the winner of that Hinman Martin encounter, which follows it. 5-6 in the fourth. Fifteen love. See Sampras pull out of the bag. 15 on the off. And the few times he's been able to hit a backhand in the pocket right at waist level. Sir. And look where Sampras is when he actually makes this pass. Well behind the baseline. Forty thirty. Game so for set tiger. So Pete Sampras must win a fourth set tiebreak, which is to keep alive the dream of being the first man ever to win eight Wimbledon singles titles. Zero, Sampras. 120 mile an hour, second serve from Sampras on that point. Yes, and the return came back almost quicker. Great volley from Sampras. <laughs> Two points played. Two fantastic. 
one on. seeing that Sampras wasn't even chasing that ball. Two, one, Sampras. All he had to do was dump it back into the court. Three one Sampras. 129 miles an hour to the corner. It's very quick, probably the equivalent of 135 up the middle. Yes, the radar gun that judges the speed. We all know it's record is, records quicker down the center. Yeah. Like that one, 136. For one, Sampras. Great champions die hard. He stepped it up in this tiebreak. Sampras. And for the first time, you, you feel as if the moment has got to Federer. He's played two very sloppy points. Well, I'm not sure if it's the moment or the opponent. The energy that Pete Sampras has sent out in this tiebreaker is just monumental. Every point he's played to perfection. And Federer almost trying to do too much under the, the weight. The opposition. Let second serve. Not Sampras. able to get that chip down low enough to bother Federer. Well, if he's to have any chance in this tiebreaker, this point is vital. Six two, Sampras. Knew it was going long, and that he's facing four set points, and that serve 134 miles an hour. Every first serve in the tiebreak has been flat out. So a wonderful tie break then from Sampras, taking it by seven points to two to level at two sets all. 
after just under three hours. Two sets all then. As Pete Sampras takes the tie break decisively, seven points to two. And Sampras has never lost a five set match at Wimbledon. He's played five matches that have gone to five sets. He has won the lot. Three hours they've been on court when the fields for Tim Henman and uh, Todd Martin, they would have been ready to play their match quite some time ago. They're going to get on very late. 5.39, you've got to say that the last, uh, the fifth set, likely to last at least half an hour, of course. It could last a, a lot longer than that. There's no tie-break in the fifth set. And even though he's lost the fourth set, he wouldn't write this young man off. No, 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 not at all. In fact, I think it's probably uh, to his advantage that that fourth set tiebreaker was so one-sided, because had he got to the point where he was up match points or it was eight all, uh, then you could say, what a terrible letdown. But really, as it happens, because Sampras won that tiebreaker quite handily, and in fact, if Pete Sampras ever wants to show someone what a great tennis player he was under pressure, he will replay that tiebreaker because he played every point extraordinarily well and just kept the pressure on this man Federer throughout. Because Sampras won that tiebreaker quite handily, I think that Federer will just say, well, it's just business as usual. Let's keep doing what I've been doing. And hopefully things will turn out all right in the fifth. Incidentally, if you're thinking, gosh, this is a long break, that's because Pete Sampras has gone for a bathroom break. As, of course, Federer did at the end of the second set. Whatever else happens in this match now, though, I think uh, people will realize just why this young man has been talked of as a, a future Grand Slam champion. Yes, you can see that he has everything. He has a, a very good serve, nice volley, excellent off the ground. I can't imagine that, that anyone would like to play him on a hard court because he has such flair on the ball, top spin off of both sides. And what we've seen here today in his ability to compete under cre under pressure rather on such a monumental stage uh, certainly augurs well for this man in the future. First time ever on the uh, center court. And he has taken to it like the proverbial duck to the water. for Federer is that he will be serving Sorry. first now in this fifth set. So as long as he can hold, he'll always have his nose in front, which could be very important if we get to a long, long advantage set. 5-4, 6-5, 7-6, and so on. And it's vital, of course, that he holds his first game, and it won't be easy being set in that chair for five minutes. Final set, Federer sir. Fifteen love. Thirty love. I guess at nineteen you don't stiffen up very much. Forty love.
Enrique Federer. First game, final set. And I suppose the other nice thing that he's going for, Roger Federer, it, it's not a very physical serve, is it? It's a lovely rhythmical that relies on timing. And he's had that timing throughout the match. It's not a serve that's going to uh, tire you out. And obviously a 19-year-old against a 29-year-old, I suppose if it became a marathon match, you might fancy the youngster. 15, though. I'm not sure about that. In fact, I think players really grow into their physical bodies in their late 20s. I think that Federer's best days fitness-wise are ahead of him. The timing on that ball, just wonderful. Thirty, fifteen. Fifteen. Well, good job. He got a racket on that serve. He might have had a big hole in his chest otherwise. Coming straight for him. Audacious attempt. One game on, final set. the second serve that 15, gets up on the backhand of Sampras and he struggled all day and doesn't he know it left first third This one, Fifteen or Sampras is able to stay down right in the pocket. Thirty, fifteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Game. Federer. Federer is two games to one. Fine set. So 22nd ace from Roger Federer as he uh, keeps in front in this final set. And we can have a look at this easy, languid service action. Yes, it is. It's not quite as ambitious as the Sampras serve. Doesn't bend his knees quite as much. And doesn't 
torque his body nearly as much, which of course is why he doesn't get the same power that Sanford's gets. But as you can see, it's a very simple action. And Federer will not lose rhythm very often. And, and of course, I suppose the most important thing about both of these players' serves are that mentally their, their targets are they're able to hit their target so well and that's something that has nothing to do with technique it really is to do with uh, okay having a simple technique that you can reproduce every time but mentally you need to have a, a, a tiny little target and focus time. on that target throughout the swing and it takes quite a bit of uh, commitment to actually do that Both of these players have in spades. Oh, he's slipping only 132 miles an hour. He hasn't missed a first serve in the set yet. Well, this is really the only shot that Sampras could hit. But what perfection in the feel he showed there. Forty love. Well, Sampras not doing enough with that forehand volley. In fact, didn't really hit it squarely on the strings. Okay, Sampras, new boards, please. Two games on. Final set. After three hours and 13 minutes. Nice symmetry on the scoreboard. Two sets all, two games all. And the match perfectly poised. And still we wonder whether the 19-year-old can possibly upset the seven times champion. Fifteen long.
30 kilo. But once again, Federer getting help from the new balls. He's serving with this game. That ball came off the court very quickly. Forty long. Pedrelli's three games to two, final set. Well, in the first uh, five games of this set, just three points have gone against the serve, and uh, look at the serving uh, percentages, simply outstanding. And Federer started off OK, but he's just got better and better, and in this set, well, no wonder. You know, the, the guys are struggling to win points against the serve. If the two men of this quality are getting over 80% of uh, the... Uh, First serves in. Peter, we may need floodlights before this match is over. I wonder what the longest fifth set ever played at Wimbledon is. Probably something like 22 20. Yes, that's, uh, that's an incredible percentage 85 and 82 percent. And I would seriously doubt if both of these players could continue at that rate. And yet, in the 1980 final, when Borg beat McEnroe 8 6 in the fifth, didn't he, he make Borg? It's something like 21 out of 31, 29 out of 31 first serves in the fifth set. Wow, what, a, what an astounding percentage that was. So it can be done. Time. Love. Come on, can we have our ball back, please? Fifteen on. The clear majority of those Sampras double faults have come when he's been going for huge second serves. 119 miles an hour, that one. Which is uh, faster than Federer is averaging for his first serve. Thirty, fifteen. Federer was so far out of position, it was worth a go. See if he could come up with a miraculous shot. Rather than just hoisting up another defensive lob.
three games off. No sign of either man weakening at all in the fifth set. One ball, one ball. No, he's just, uh, the umpire has asked for one more ball to come out to replace the one that someone snaffled in the crowd. Within the two games now, we put a new one. Yeah, we lost one. They're asking, uh, is it right to put out one brand new ball? And the umpire said, only put only one. Federer comes up with there. Right on the line. Thirty love. Sampras not impressed with this score. Ooh, I think it found the line. Okay, Pedro. Pedro is four games to three. Final set. Another love game for Federer. That's six in the match compared with just uh, one, believe it or not, from Sampras. And Federer is now out acing Sampras, 25 to 24. He's caught him and overtaken him. And as you said, uh, Peter, he hasn't played a lot of five set matches. It's only his ninth match ever that's gone to five sets, but he's got a good record in them. He's won five of the previous eight. Sampras, understandably, fantastic five-set record. He's played uh, 43 five-set matches and won 31. And as I say, here at Wimbledon, played five, won five. Well, that is an astounding record. It's, uh, it's nice to see, though, that Roger Federer has had no continuing effect after effects from that thigh that was that seemed to be giving him problems early on in the match. He's had no thoughts about Time. it over the last two or three sets, really. And of course, that's important as this match goes on well into the fourth hour. Fifteen love. The lead is a brief one. Thirty, fifteen. What a beautiful chip. 
very precise. Actually, that slice quite hard. First time either serve has been under any sort of threat in this fifth set. Forty thirty. So nearly made a great return off a hundred and thirty one mile an hour serve. The very top of the tape. Four games over, final set. The stage of the match where one moment of inspiration or one lucky net or one lost moment of lost concentration could decide it. Fifteen love. Second 15 serve, all. Coming in at only 91 miles an hour. Sampras took a step in and took control. <laughs> 30, 15. Uh, perfect feel. Thirty forty. Just happy to let Federer dwell in this moment as long as he wants. Question there. This man came up with the answers. <laughs> Advantage, Sampras.
abuse. But I was not going to give Sampras a target on that point. You can work harder. Advantage, Federer. Games to four. Final set. Federer survives two break points. And now Sampras must serve to stay in the match. And I mean, on that first break point. That time, Federer, you could just see, wanted no part of having to hit another half volley or to give Sampras a target to aim at. Chose to stay back, but came in immediately. After that, with an aggressive forehand approach shot. Time. Fifteen love. Yes, easy pickings, really, for the Sampras forehand. Right onto the sideline, and it really uh, stopped dead. Slowed down totally in Federer. Far too early with his swing. Disturbed. Serving to hang on to my title, no problem in that game. Fifteen love. On the line. Oh. 
15 off. That surf came in at 107 miles an hour, and Sampras right on it. Skip the beat there. Let for serve. Forty fifteen. Six came to five, final set. And now we are at that stage of the fifth set where it's such a huge advantage to be serving first because every time Sampras comes out to serve now, unless of course he's broken, he's going to be serving to stay in the match. No chance to recover from a bad service game, whereas Federer would always have the opportunity to break back. Well, yes, but having said that, I think you'd have to say that if Federer was to lose his serve in this fifth set, the chances for him to break back would be very small. Pete Sampras is not the sort who's going to give up an advantage like that. And historically, has always been very strong at serving out matches. But that's not the situation right now. Right now, he is serving to stay in this match. And of course, if he were to miss a couple of first serves, he's facing the danger that his opponent, Time. Federer, has the ability and has been peppering him with low and hard returns off of both wings. So Santos really has no choice. He must consistently serve well and go for big serves. Second sir. <laughs> Lap fifteen. That served not far from the center line, but still not good enough. He's going to serve at 112. He needs to either get it into the body or slide it out wide. Thirty.